Hi there, got a new feature that's just come out on Power Apps. I really wanted to show you guys how to use it. So this is for all those people that are really into Power Apps. Now, all it is, is a way of getting data points and putting them onto a map. Now, but the map is really, really cool the way in which it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over and show you how the mapping, some of the features of the mapping tool but then what we'll have to do is we'll have to do some setup things and I'm going to show you how to do that and then essentially build your very first uh, app that has the um, geospatial map control uh, and I'll also direct you to um, a uh, the download where you can get the Excel file that I've been using so as you can see my name is Rory Neary and I am your guide today Hi, so here we are, we're in Power Apps. I did have to fiddle around with this to get it going. That's why I wanted to do this video. So what you can see is this is the map control. It is a control, it's just like any other control. You can move it around the page and make it bigger and smaller. It's, but it does actually have some quite cool features. Now, uh, just looking along the right hand side here, you've got this show current location, which is on so that you can turn the dot on. Do you know, I, I didn't even know it had this. You can turn the dot on and off, which is quite cool. Um, there's the thing where you've got this default location. So a default location is, is where you want it to kind of appear, where you want the center of the map to be. So I'm pretty sure that zero, zero, is basically down here somewhere. So if I was to kind of make the default location uh, of this uh, zero and zero, then what I should find is that the map sort of centers just to the south of, uh, yeah, it's not great. Um, I'm just gonna change the zoom level to like two, something pretty, um, pretty wide. Uh, and what it's done is it's centered just here because that is where um, latitude is zero and longitude is zero. So, um, but I'm now gonna click on the map and I'm not gonna use the default um, location because this is where you can um, superimpose something. I, it might be your organization location. So, um, now what I'm gonna do is, I've, so we've seen show current location, satellite view, that's quite cool, look at this. Here it comes, any second now. It's going through my phone, by the way. So there's the satellite location, um, and you can do this clustering of pins. So I think that's the bit where you can see there's two and the four, and so if I kind of uh, do the bit where we don't cluster the pins, then you'll see a few more of them. So I actually think that clustering of the pins is quite nice. Um, zoom control, I can't think why you wouldn't want a zoom control, but I guess, um, and then you can see the compass control, we're just turning these um, bits on and off, uh, and then you've got the color of the pin, so we could change the color of the pin and make it a different color, maybe let's just make it red just to make it stand out, so that's nice and easy to look at. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to kind of pretend I'm actually playing it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the app here. Well, that's interesting how it sort of turns up. Um, and I am going to just just show the different effects that you've got now. So you can, you can um, spin it around a little bit. Um, that might be useful to some people and I can't think of a reason for me using it. Um, and you can kind of zoom in and out. Now you can do the, you can do it with the wheel as well. So that would be typically how I would do that. Um, and you can do, um, well, I do actually quite like this. I'm gonna zoom in on this point here. Now if I double click on it, it will, it will zoom closer in um, to that specific point there. So I'm essentially, this is Downing Street um, that I've actually decided to center on here. So here we go, we're gonna get closer and closer to uh, to, to Boris Johnson. Uh, in we go, further and further. I think it's quite nice, this actually. Um, uh, I, I believe you can get an awful lot of data points onto here. So that's quite nice. And actually, as we kind of go further and further down, um, it does get quite interesting. I actually worked not far from here um, previously. Oops, what have I done? Um, yeah, I worked not far from here. Um, I worked in this building here. Um, 
and I also worked in there's a there's some buildings down there and they're all part of the parliamentary buildings but then you can see there's 10 Downing Street uh, there and you can you can kind of peer through the gates in this area here as well so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, in fact we can tilt it a little bit if we want so we can kind of or can we yeah we can this is quite cool I like that it's quite a nice uh, nice way of doing things. I don't know if there's a default tilt or anything like that. Um, if I kind of come out like this, I can actually click on there and instead go back to it being like a, a normal kind of not a satellite view. Because I think that'll be interesting as well. So we can just jump in there and see what the, uh, the non-satellite view is. Um, I need to see it. Yeah, that's better. Uh, and I'll just see if it'll do the tilt on that as well, which I think it will yeah so it does the tilt on there as well i mean i think like for what it is it's really really cool i think it's pretty amazing and what we're going to see in a minute is we are going to build this app live but before that the bad news is we've got to do some setup so what we're going to do is we're first of all going to do the setup and then we're going to build the app okay so let's go and do that Okay, so let us get started on that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. So this is, look, you have to be an admin uh, or at least a Power Apps admin to be able to get to this space. I'm not going to do videos ab about that. And this is where we manage our environment. So what uh, I've already done the exercise here, but what you need to do is you need to go on to the environment, you need to click on the environment. Then what you need to do is you need to, uh, I think there's a settings thing, it appears at the top here, um, and you go on to settings. And once you've clicked on settings, you then need to click on this product bit here, then down to features. Now you've got you've got to do two. I'm pretty sure you've got to do two things. You definitely have to do this new geospatial features thing. Definitely. And then you have to agree um, to that. You know they're going to share the address and location with people and so on. And also, I think that you need to put this Power Apps component framework for canvas apps i have the funny feeling that these it's both of these features that you need uh, and then once you've done that you click save i've not actually done anything uh, to make that happen so that you need to do those two things and then what we're going to do is set up the app and there's one further thing when we set the app up so what i'm going to do is i'm now going to go into power apps into the correct environment so this is my dspin dev uh, and I'm going to click new app, canvas app. Uh, it'll do the usual thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a, uh, a tablet app. So we've got lots of space. So down there to tablet layout. Um, and I'm going to call this maps vid or something like that. I'm just going to get myself mentally prepared for this. Um, and I'll skip that. And I, in fact, I don't need to make, name it just yet. So what I need to do is if I go to insert, in fact, if I go to plus uh, and I type in the word map, then nothing happens. But it's not the end of the world because what I have to do is I have to go on to the um, kind of experimental features bit. So what I need to do is to get a file. Then I need to get advanced settings. Then I need to kind of whiz all the way down. Now, providing you've done everything correctly, you get this option here, geospatial features. So you can turn that to being on. Uh, and then at that point, you can um, hit the back button. And at that point, now I, I couldn't find this straight away, if I'm honest. And then I basically just typed in the word map. And before when we typed in the word map, you couldn't see anything and now you can. So basically you just grab the map and you just whiz it across like this. Um, it's just a control that you bring in, but it is, it's, it can be a bit, it's not that bad, but it's more for how the data goes in there that I find a little bit confusing. I am a citizen dev, so, you know, love me, love me. So. The first, I'm just going to make it a kind of reasonable size. And what it's going to initially do is basically going to tell you where I live because it's doing this default. I think it must like work out 
where you like it does it by default it puts this thing on so show current location there you are so i can actually turn that off if i want to and it'll just put in well some part of america by the looks of things so now we need some data so i've gone and got some data for you so if you go to https does a github.com forward slash rory neary and you go to my repositories i do need to make sure that i've actually shared this there's one called mapping and in that mapping repository i've got this um this uh um spreadsheet and so what you do is you click on the spreadsheet and you download it and it'll just download onto your computer so at that point what you do is you go back to your app uh, not this one this is our experimental app here and what we need to do is we need to go and get some data which is our spreadsheet in fact what i'll do is i'll just show you the spreadsheet itself if i possibly can and uh, before we kind of get going so i'm just going to do uh, I'm just going to fire that up and that is the this is what it looks like I basically there was some I managed to get hold of some latitude and longitude data and I've got the pyramids uh, of Giza and I put Downing Street on there but look if you want to get any more um, mapping things what you can do is um, you can basically just google it and just go right something like Eiffel Tower and if you actually do that and then you go onto the maps what you'll find is inside the maps um, URL, I think. There you are. Just wait for a second. Can you see this at 48 da 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 da? That is the URL of the Eiffel Tower. So if I want to create a, um, a point for the Eiffel Tower, then all I need to do is to take that data out and put it into the spreadsheet. And I would have a dot for the Eiffel Tower anyway. So that's quite a, a neat little hack. So I need to go back to Power Apps and I'm in there and I need to go to View Data Sources and uh, I need to then just type in Excel. Now it might not come up straight away. Um, I did have this before. So if you go onto Connectors, you might need to hit the drop down for it or refresh or something like that. But anyway, if you just do Excel and you go Import from Excel, it'll then ask you for a spreadsheet then you'll go to your downloads um, and then there's uh, then you can go to the mapping spreadsheet click OK on it and then um, then what you have to do is you have to tell it the table that you want which is my map data table and then it's brought it in but nothing's gonna happen so what you have to do is click on the control and then you say well look it's the only the only thing it can click on is actually this map data thing but you're still not finished because it's really confused now and if you actually look at this I don't understand what was going on I was thinking what is going on here and I just you know tick the minus button loads of times and so on and what you'll find is after a good number of clicks or it, it's so confused what it's ended up is going to zero latitude and zero longitude and that's where that is in the world so we need to fix that so we need to go back onto the the map itself and we need to click on there and then go to the drop down and then do items latitudes and what we want to do on that is we want to do um i need to do this from memory actually is map data map data dot latitude and now they're all in a line look um, and I want to do items dot longitudes and then map data dot longitude and then they're all going to split out into the rest of the world and so there we are we've kind of done it um, so I mean that's pretty cool isn't it that um, that in uh, what it was a pretty short period of time we were able to use that mapping facility and get this going i think that one final thing to do now wouldn't it be nice to just get that eiffel tower in here so let's see if i can do that um, i'm going to go and grab the eiffel tower um, and i've got my details there i'm going to go on to my spreadsheet um, uh, and i'm going to pop one down here uh, and i'm going to go my fell tower now just bear in mind it, it's latitude and then longitude so you you know that's the that's the order in which you do these things um 
and bear in mind that some of them can be minus and they can be very small numbers so just be a bit careful with it now i'm going to delete this and i'm going to delete the row as well uh, um, if it goes horribly wrong i'm not going to fix it so that so i'm just going to say that one in advance there's the eiffel tower and what am i going to do now i am going to um i'm going to hit the save button uh, save button there but what I must do is when I go back onto power apps what I need to do is I need to delete the map data because it'll bring in map data underscore one so it'll be really confused so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and it'll be really upset with me um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go view data sources uh, and then I'm going to do uh, Excel again, import from Excel, and I need to go and find a table um, into my downloads. And it just said it saved it there, so I can click open. That should be the one. I should be able to just click on this when it finally comes in. It's a tiny spreadsheet, by the way, but it is going through my phone. And now it's come in, so I can go and click on map data. I can click connect and that should all just work and notice that we've got two there and so what that should mean is that as we kind of zoom in uh, to this area here they should split up and we've actually got the Eiffel Tower there how cool is that that's really really good um, I'm gonna I'm now going to I'm just gonna see if you can actually get um, if on here you actually get you know labels on there so i'm just going to click on this thing here and just see if we've got labels items labels okay yeah map data dot what we got must be name name let's see what happens now okay let's do that and then double click on this double click on this oh wow that is amazing oh that has made my day that is so good doesn't that look amazing? Wow, Microsoft, you've done it. That's fantastic. Well done. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and have a great time with this um, this mapping tool. I think this just like I don't know where anything is. So mapping is brilliant as far as I'm concerned. Um, so please, if you like this sort of thing, make sure you like it. If you want to get um, likes are really good, by the way, um, for YouTubers. And uh, subscribe to it if you like this sort of thing. And if you want to be notified of any new videos, make sure you hit the bell icon. So that is me done. Dinner is on downstairs, and I am done for the day. I'm off to the um, uh, off to the Badger with uh, Chris uh, Huntingford very shortly. So I should hopefully have a nice evening, having got one of my videos ready. Anyway, nice to see you all again, and see you again soon. Bye.